Hi everyone, and welcome! Are you struggling to get your MediaTek MT7902 Wi-Fi card working reliably on Linux? Many users face challenges with out-of-the-box drivers, often needing a specific solution to unlock stable and fast wireless internet, and today, I'll walk you through the process of getting the latest GitHub driver installed and fully functional on your system, ensuring you have a smooth online experience. First things first, let's prepare your Linux environment by opening your terminal, as we need to install some essential build tools and dependencies before we can compile any drivers. Simply type sudo apt update nn sudo apt install build essential git dkms linux headers dollar, unamr, and press enter, which will update your package list, install crucial compilers and development libraries via. Build essential, provide git for downloading source code, include dkms for managing kernel modules, and fetch the Linux headers specific to your current kernel version, all of which are absolutely necessary for successful driver compilation, so allow this process to complete, as it might take a few minutes depending on your internet speed and system configuration. Once your system is ready, we'll proceed to clone the driver's source code from GitHub. Navigate to a convenient location, perhaps your home directory by typing cd, then execute git clone https forward slash forward slash github.com slash moreowner slash 7921.git and press enter, which will download the 7921 repository containing the necessary MediaTek MT7902 driver files directly to your machine. After the cloning is complete, change into the newly created directory by typing cd7921 and then we can start the compilation process by simply running make, which will compile the source code into a loadable kernel module, so keep an eye out for any error messages during this step, and if you encounter any, double check that all the prerequisites were installed correctly. With the driver successfully built, the next step is to install it onto your system, Type sudo make install and press enter, which will copy the compiled module to the appropriate system directories, making it available for your kernel to load. Now that the driver is installed, we need to load the module into your running kernel. First, ensure any existing MediaTek modules are unloaded by typing sudo mod probe our MT7921E or sudo mod probe our MT7921S if they are present, and then load the new module with sudo mod probe MT7921E which should activate your Wi-Fi card. Allowing you to verify its recognition by checking your network settings or running IPA in the terminal to see your wireless interface. To ensure this driver loads automatically every time you boot your system, and to handle future kernel updates seamlessly, we should register it with DKMS. While still in the 7921 directory, execute sudo dkms install, which will integrate the driver with DKMS, ensuring it's rebuilt and reinstalled automatically whenever your kernel updates. Saving you from repeating these steps, and after this, a simple sudo reboot should bring your system back up with your Wi-Fi card fully functional. If you encounter any issues, remember to check your BIOS slash UEFI settings to ensure secure boot is disabled, as it can sometimes prevent unsigned kernel modules from loading, and always cross-reference the exact model of your MediaTek card with the repository's documentation for any specific instructions. And there you have it. Your MediaTek MT7902 Wi-Fi card should now be fully operational on your Linux system, providing you with stable and fast wireless connectivity, and I truly hope this guide was clear and helpful in resolving your Wi-Fi woes. Thank you so much for watching this video, if you found this tutorial useful, please hit that like button to show your support, and don't forget to subscribe for more Linux tutorials and tech tips. See you in the next 